All right, this morning on Random Axe Carving, we're going to be working on a uh, piece of wood. Right on a piece of wood. Um, going to try to carve a uh, little cartoon, cartoon bear for somebody today, so... Uh, got a lot of wood to remove on this one because it's kind of kind of thick. But uh, we'll get her whittled down. There we go. All right, and we're carving. So I uh, cut this little piece off here, and then I... Uh, Cut a little notch out of it with a handsaw just to uh, get that first little piece of wood removed. If I would have thought about it, I would have left it attached to that long log and uh, taken a grinder and maybe uh, removed some of the some of the heavier stuff that needed to get removed. But this worked out okay. I got the Ford amount. Has a little more power, a little bigger bits, and uh, was able to uh, cut into it pretty easy. Right now, just kind of roughing it in and uh, leaving everything, uh, extra wood all around everything just to figure out where stuff's going. I have a reference picture that I'm looking at, and uh, so I just uh, carve a little bit, look at the picture, carve a little bit, look at the picture, and uh, just try to carve away until it starts looking like the uh, picture. A lot of it you kind of have to make up because you only got one view of. Uh, picture normally, especially if it's like a cartoon type of thing, which this one was. Um, and all I really had was the face, so I kind of did the uh, the rest of the body by just kind of figuring it out as I went. Once I got some of the uh, heavier stuff removed, and you get to drop down to the Dremel for a little bit, and uh, just kind of keep placing stuff, see where uh, the sizes are going to be, and uh, get an idea where things are going to go, and then I can go back to the Fordham and uh, remove wood a little faster again. Trying to uh, cut his the bottom of his feet back a little bit to get rid of the uh, the splits in the wood there as much as I could. Uh, 
same thing with the uh, ears and the head there and everything just trying to carve down into it enough that uh, the uh, splits in the wood go away there's a couple on the back I couldn't get rid of they were pretty deep but that's why I put them there was just to stay away from them on the front Do a lot of this uh, slower, uh, just shaping stuff. Once I get it roughed in, just and you go a little bit slower to uh, keep from going too too deep in. These are all just uh, temporary lines I'm cutting in just to uh, kind of see where things are going to go, how big I needed to make that foot. See how many toes I'm going to put across there and then uh, I'll move over to the other side and do the same thing once I have an idea what size I'm making it. He's starting to look like a little bear and then uh, once I rounded him off and got him pretty well down to size then I, uh, I uh, drew on some overalls on him with a pencil and then I'm just going around my uh, pencil lines. Drew in the little pockets and the straps and uh, whatnot and you just go around the outside of everything. And then uh, you can see it pretty good there. And I'll just go back in and anywhere his arms are going up against the overalls and his uh, feet are going up against the overalls and just cut away some so it makes the uh, makes the overalls stick stick out pretty good. Same thing with the pockets on the back. I just uh, go around, draw the pockets on there, go around the outside, and then uh, and then move everything back so it makes like the pockets are sticking out. Uh, 
I take a uh, sharper bit tool and just go around and uh, clean up the edges. See how I'm removing the wood around the pocket there to make that pocket stick way up. Drawing in some fancy stuff on the designer overalls. started adding all the uh, fur in here I got it all on there and then uh, whenever you're putting the fur in you always got to keep keep in mind the direction your fur is going on your uh, paws and on the on the back of the arm it's going to go a little bit different and then down the back of the head middle of the head it kind of parts there in the middle uh, feet it's going to straight down the foot you know, think of the way it's going to fall whenever the bear's walking on his four legs I guess. Take a little wire brush real low speed and uh, cleaned up the fuzzies and then I uh, my wife pointed out that the one arm looked a little bit too big the one paw looked a little bit bigger than the other so I uh, went back out cut a bunch off of it and uh, went back to uh, putting the fur back on. wasn't too big a deal it only took about five minutes and uh, made a made a big difference on the bear so. Bear looks possessed with those uh, white eyes like that. <clears throat>
had to spend a little bit of extra time on these eyes. The uh, person I was making this for is kind of particular about eyes, so I wanted to make sure I got them right. <clears throat> The uh, time of um, making the uh, video here, this this has already been delivered, and uh, person really liked it, so uh, it was worth worth the time and the uh, effort put in to make a little bear. So, went to a great place, and uh, yeah, worked out pretty good. Go over that uh, fur with this uh, black wash, just watered down black paint. Um, it runs down into all the little cracks in the fur and it gives it a lot more depth. Uh, with the, uh, the smoother sections the, where the blue was, it also uh, just adds another, uh, another layer. It give, makes it look kind of old and worn and a little dirty and uh, darkens it up a little bit really helps to look a lot. All right, we got this week's carving done. Little uh, little bear with overalls on. Turned out pretty sweet. I think this was a piece of uh, catalpa wood. Uh, I'm not really sure. It was just a piece of a post that I found that I had actually in the burn pile. But uh, yeah, turned out pretty cool. Like the uh, like how his face turned out. But uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.